you're watching Themes Trading, Peter is here to tell us why rare earth metals are the investment opportunity of our time. Now, Peter, before we get there, Brexit, 29th of March passed. It's not a date that goes down in history. Right. What's going on? Well, for two years, we were sort of circling that date in the calendar, waiting for it to, to take off and basically came and went. Uh, not much was solved. We're still moving, you know, uh, uh, trying to figure out what's next in Brexit. And it really didn't have the market impact that sort of the, the hype had led us to believe. So business as usual there, really. As an investment professional, though, what else is moving? What well, are you watching? It's very interesting. I mean, here we were uh, a month after, you know, last uh, month's uh, meeting. And we're sort of regurgitating the same themes over and over again. There hasn't been much progression in terms of core drivers. We're seeing some interesting moves in Turkey. Uh, having to do with the Turkish election, uh, there are some pretty uh, dramatic moves as the as the sort of the uh, the government has tried to take control of the lira uh, by limiting local lending uh, to foreigners. We saw a massive move in overnight uh, pricing, about a thousand percent. It was really a dramatic move. But other than that, we really have not seen really anything changing too drastically. U.S. Fed though still on the minds of clients. What are you telling them? Well, this is very interesting. I mean, other than the top line, uh, you know, buzz like Turkey, like Argentina, uh, the real driver tends to be sort of the monetary policy story. And we had a very interesting situation where the Fed has now completely pivoted from a sort of a, a hiking, tightening stance to a very dovish position. And we're seeing spill through into interest rates as well. So we're seeing German yields are now negative. We saw the US yield curve turn negative for the first time since 2007. Uh, we saw the Fed sort of cut uh, forecasts on growth and inflation all at the same time that we're seeing equity prices relatively strong. So there, there's, a, there's a very confusing uh, story being told there, and we're not sure who's actually right on this one. It's all rather tiresome. Investors clearly looking for other themes to, to get their teeth into. Rare earth metals is something you highlighted as a, as a great product. Yeah, uh, I mean, now more than ever, you have to move away from sort of cyclical trades, sort of short term, because of the uncertainty. Is the Fed, you, you know, is the U.S slipping into recession by early 2020. Um, you know, it, will inflation pick up because of the underlying strong labor market? We have to move to longer term structural type of trades. And the rare earth metals tells a story that's going to be with us for quite a while. It is the future. Take a listen to this, Peter. Gold and silver, we know, are precious metals, but they are just two of 17 rare earth metals or elements we use every day. So useful are these rare earth metals that they're often dubbed technology metals. Their unique magnetic, luminescent and electrochemical properties make technologies more efficient. Rare earth enabled products fuel economic growth, maintain standards of living and even save lives. The metals are found in items such as glasses, cars, planes and even medical treatment. Did you know that your smartphone uses around 16 of the 17 rare earth metals? They're even the reason your phone vibrates. Rare earth metals, while plentiful, are difficult to separate from the minerals they're found in. The process to extract them is cumbersome, expensive and harmful to the environment, also leading to price fluctuations. The good news, that with companies like Apple saying it wants to use recycled rare earth elements in its products, there's a greater focus on mining these metals in a more sustainable way. Just recently, researchers have discovered that bioorganic acids, that's acids found in fruits, are an effective, more environmentally friendly method for separating the metals from the minerals. Rare earth metals, why did you choose this as your favorite uh, structured product? Well, again, we need to look for more sort of structural thematic trends. And rare earth metals is going to be here for the next 10 years and really be a, a story evolving. The demand for these rare earth metals are expected to grow from about 10 to $15 billion uh, where it is now and about double in the next five years. It, they power just about every consumer product that you can imagine, as well as many of the innovative industrial uses as well. So really moving us away from these traditional resources that we rely on Agreed. to something that's there in abundance. I mean, it's just almost daily that you have innovation using these type of metals uh, and it just put a push, you know, whether it's your cell phone or sort of efficient motors and, and batteries. It, it's a core driver to our tech revolution that we're seeing right now. And the companies you look at, it's not just the mining companies, you're looking at the whole value chain. Trying to, trying to. Obviously, it's, it's a young industry. So there's issues about 
reporting, uh, volatility, liquidity. So we try to get a lot of names that are in the sector. And number one, so that you have a diversified portfolio. And number two is we expect consolidation as, as the earning potential sort of seeps out uh, and larger sort of more established miners that are in the copper and gold industry start looking towards rare earth metals as a, as a revenue producer, they're going to start acquiring uh, companies. And we're seeing that already with uh, Lannis uh, and West Farms is also, they're consolidating. We expect consolidation to be a major trend in this industry. But a lot of companies are looking at the next step as well. Companies like Apple are looking to actually recycle the rare earth metal components in their products. Absolutely. I mean, that's part of sort of the growing ecosystem within this sector. Um, as we as it grows, as, as, as it becomes more profitable, there'll be more and more entrants taking advantage of these uh, rare earth metals. And performance-wise, Peter, a good time to actually enter this market? We do think. I mean, obviously, it's a long-term hold, so, so timing is not hypercritical when, it, when you talk about this type of thematic. Um, obviously, it is underperforming right now, but we do believe it's going to sort of hold value and continue to improve over the next five and ten years. Lovely, Peter. You heard it. If you want uh, a breather from what's ha happening out there in terms of geopolitics and economics, then please do take a look at the rare earth metals theme with Swissquote.